Welcome friends, I am Tom Moy. So I welcome you all in my channel to Institute of History of Molecule. So this is a continuation lecture of benzyl benzylic acid reanimate. Previously I have explained about the basic concept and mechanism and uh, the background reactivity and today I will discuss about the example. So I suggest you first go through that video, learn the basic concept and after that you uh, come to this video then it will be better for you because we have learned the basic concept. Now it's a time to recapitulate the concept and utilize your own understanding to solve this question. So first I suggest you, you please pause the video and try to solve this problems. After that, uh, I will definitely explain. So it will be good, better that how much you have learned, you can do the self evaluation study. So I hope you have tried that. So let's example. So today we are going to explain six problems. I believe this six problem will give you almost a complete overview about this benzyl benzylic acid reagent. That previous video I have explained two main basic examples. So uh, in this way, total eight example is enough for this understanding. I believe. So okay, fine. Let's start. So this is the benzyl benzylic acid reagent as I told. In case of uh, acyclic carbonyl group, that they prefer to remain means. If we take benzyl, they prefer to remain in this position. I have explained this in previous video because the diagonal moment minimization. But in case of cyclic, they prefer to remain in this because it's a log. They don't have any way out. But here you can see this is this here no alpha hydrogen. But here you can see there is alpha hydrogen. And generally, as I told, for benzyl benzylic acid reagent, it is essential not to have alpha hydrogen. But if it is there, there is a problem of problems. There is a another competitive reaction that is aldol condensation. Second point that due to this one two position, these carbonyl groups highly electron deficient. Second, the lumo of this means pi star of this and pi star of this combine together and form a new lumo having relatively lower energy. That's why they are more prone for nucleophilic attack. I have explained it in the previous video also. So what happens? So here alkali attacks and this, but. Aldol condensation is also a competing reaction. Okay, but let's start. See what happens here. This alkali means KOH, and generally you have observed that KOH is used. The main reason over sodium hydroxide, the main reason is the solubility of KOH in organic solvent like alcohol is more compared to the sodium salt due to the bigger size of potassium. So keep it in mind. Generally, you observe potassium is used more because of this reason. Okay, fine. So what happens? This alkali acts. After that, this opens. And it pushes, so this group migrates. I have explained the mechanism in the previous video, so I am not going to the details. So, okay, fine. Then, and another thing I told that in case of cyclic one, there is a ring contraction. So, it's a six member. So, if you consider this is one, two, three, four, five, and this is six. So, what happened? One and five forming the ring. Consequently, this five member ring form, and this goes out, and this is the carboxylic acid. So it should initially be COO minus, uh, uh, sorry, it should initially be COH and O minus, and this O minus abstract proton to form OH, and this form CO minus. After that, so next step, subsequent workup with acid results in the formation of this carboxylic acid. Okay, so in this way, the reaction occurs. Okay, so we have understood the basic example now go to the little tricky examples why i am telling tricky now difficult things the first example is always easy as to recapitulate you and give you understanding so let's start so this is you can see it is not a traditional benzyl benzylic acid because why there is diketone why there is diketone there is no diketone so okay not this this should be uh, this square should be here so this is not a tr traditional diketone. That's why this is called semi-benzylic acid reagent. Keep it in mind. Semi-benzylic acid, semi-benzylic acid rearrangement. Okay. So what happens here? First, here you can see there is a alpha club. Means it's a alpha halocarbonyl compound, and base is there. So two option possible. One is it can attack here. It can attack base can attack here. But what happens, this position is little more cloudy, so that point of view it is not. Instead of that, it attacks here. Okay, so it attacks here and produces this O minus. So fine, O minus is produced. And this O minus, what happens? This O minus 
pushes electron and consequently this phenyl migrates okay and this phenyl migrates means it is better to write in this way chloride is in this side so phenyl migrates and chloride leaves okay so what happens if i write clearly okay it is better to write little clearly o minus o h this this is me this is ph and this is cl so what happens this pushes electron that's why consequently like benzyl benzylic acid here when this migrates and this leaves what is the reason of migration the reason of migration is this can leave it has a leaving capability so this reaction happens in this way oh fine so what ultimately it produces phenyl goes here and carboxylic acid is here okay so it means it produces phenyl is here now at un under alkaline condition this is still under alkaline condition so this oh means initially it should be this this because oh is there o minus is here this oxygen forms a double bond chloride leaves but under alkaline condition this o minus will be cons converted this oh will be converted into o minus okay fine now you can see we have applied acid acid means acl ethanol reflux and another thing no water is mentioned here so you should consider this is acl dissolved in ethanol not aqueous acl okay so what will happen first of all acl will protonate this in the second position acl will further protonate here because we know due to this resonance the electron density is more on this uh, oxygen okay fine so formal positive charge here now at this condition the esterification reaction this ethanol ethanol molecule attacks here so it opens up and what it produces after attack this is this is the ph so it's a simple esterification reaction still i am explaining the mechanism this is also oh and this is uh, oet why i am writing oet because after attack the proton will be eliminated additional proton okay fine now it could be further protonated to form oh2 plus and at this condition this can push and this can leave means if it leaves it will produce a carbocation which is stabilized by both the conjugation of this versus this but if this conjugation if we consider from this side then there will be positive charge here instead of that this is a oh so it can release and it can release the proton and neutralize so in this way uh, it could be prepared and finally this part then ester part formation part you understand this part this is a simple and so under acidic condition it will be protonated to form acl salt as the acid we have used that is acl and this is a uh, compound name as dimeron okay so it is an important compound so okay let's discuss the next example because alpha to carbonyl there is a leaving group and another thing when you see a four member ring think about the strain factor okay so four member is a strain so it prefers to uh, really strain to have relatively stable uh, relatively stable compound formation so okay what can happen oh is there so we can think that oh will attack here and it will open up so what it will produce it will produce this is br this is o minus and uh, this is oh fine this is the irreversible reaction okay now it can push his electron and what can happen either this oh can leave one possibility another thing this carbon can migrate okay so see here this is one two three four like one is getting outside two and four forming bond so ultimately it will result in formation of and if it attack bromide will leave semi pilar bond type rearrangement so this is three member and here this is Uh, so double bond O and OH and under alkaline condition similarly O minus after that acid this will produce this cyclopropane carboxylic acid. Now one point to be remember you can you can see here that from a four member ring a, th a three member ring is producing which is also strain true but actually this is relatively more stable compared to that one. Okay. Okay. So let's discuss that example. One interesting part is that there is tertiary. and this tertiary butyl what it does it locks the rotation of this cyclohexane ring means it always remains in 
equatorial. So if these undergo this rotation flipping, then the fascial retail group will come on the axial position, which is unfavorable because of diaxial interaction with the protons. What it means right now here. Uh, this proton. So, if any tertiary butyl group is here in this ax axial, this this time, so he, this and this proton repel very much. That's why it unstable. So, it stays in this position. So, that means it is locked. So, what happens? And so you can see this is bromide is in axial side and this is in equatorial side. Fine. So, what can happen? This is alkali. So, alkali can attack here. Attack here, and what it will produce? It will produce a similar O minus OH thing. And see, this is can push electron, and this phenyl can migrate, and it can. Leave. Now, as usual, I have told it's good, but I believe I should give you little more understanding. Why? Because this is the sigma, this axial. So sigma star is here, where the electron will go. And another thing, this phenyl also in the same direction. Second point. Phenyl is attacking from the bottom of this equatorial side. So, this is axial. This is axial and this is equatorial. Means this one. Equatorial. So, phenyl is attacking bottom. So, this part. So, what will be the product first? If this phenyl attacks, so this part will be carboxylic acid. Means COOH. And phenyl will go, so carboxylic acid will go upper. Upper means this side COH means after this, it's an alkali condition. So COH will go upper and phenyl will remain here. So don't make mistake because phenyl is attacking from backside, that's why this part will go to outside. Okay, so this is the strategy. So, uh, and in this way, you can see the position of group could be in con inverted, means change. So this is a unique strategy. And I will make later about video about cyclohexane. It's very important as well as difficult also. Okay, fine. So, okay, before going to this, let's go to example number six. So what happens? In presence of alkali, three ch many chances is there, but as we are discussed previously also, so this can, means one aldotype concentration addition to carbon group, this is unaffected, it will not react. And this proton could be abstracted. So let me draw it. I am not drawing other parts since I am not drawing this part. This is unaffected. So let's focus on this. This is the methyl and this is the 5 member ring. So here O minus will be formed and along with that there is methyl. Okay, fine. So what happens? Here this O minus is so it can push his electron. Because if this O minus can attack here, but it's a three membering not stable, generally you can see it is a Fabowski reaction, but that's difficult. And if there is a chance of other uh, pathway which can release this, uh, avoid this three membering information, it will follow that. So, what happens? It can push his electron, and consequently, what can happen? This bond can migrate. Okay? Let me be clear because let's consider number one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And when ring changing or from acyclic to cyclic, it is better to provide number, mistake is reduced. So, this carbon is getting this. So, right now, 5 will be attached to 6. Okay? And it is pushing, so it will be a carbon. So, what is expected here? So, this will be methyl and it will be a 6 member ring formation and this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and in at 6 you can see this attack so it opens up consequently what happened 1 is O minus and 6 this is methyl ok so after work up what it will produce it will result in OH ok so this is a same benzyl benzylic acid type uh, type means it's, it has a semi benzylic acid type reagent in this cholesterol moiety ok Let's discuss the final example. The final example is little crucial. Means it is easy, but you should know this. What is this? This is alpha hydroxy carbonyl compound. Or we can say this is benzoin. Means for obtain after benzoin condensation. Okay. Why? I mean, how benzoin condensation is done? We have reached to take uh, aromatic aldehyde. 
potassium, alcoholic, KCN. So it produces this. So benzoyl potassium. I'll ex explain this benzoyl potassium in future videos. So okay, fine. This is produced. How benzyl is pre prepared? That is the question. So what happens? This benzyl is prepared by the oxidation of using copper acetate, ammonium nitrate. Even par uh, bromate could also do those the other, the other reason. So this will oxidize. So oxidize means this will form this hydroxyl to a dihydro compound. Fine. Now see here we all here we are using RO means alkoxide in alcohol. Previously we have used it means alcohol means um, we can say basically like hydroxide in aqueous alcohol this thing means water was there right now it's completely alcoholic so what happened reaction pathway will follow same means this OR will attack here fine what will it produce it will produce this is double bond this is OR O minus and pH similar like that after that it will push and this phenyl will go back to produce the final means benzyl, it's a, you can say benzylic acid type rearrangement O minus and this is O and O1 and after protonation means in the second stage this H3O plus what will happen this oxygen will be protonated to form this but difference is that here ester is produced this is ester this O1 is ester is produced instead of acid that's why this is called benzylic ester rearrangement Okay, so previously you have discussed about benzylic acid rearrangement, that is benzylic ester rearrangement. Okay, so this is the end of the discussion. So uh, I believe you have learned a lot, it's a difficult many examples were there. So this is the end of the discussion. Thanks for listening, and if you like my teaching, please give a like and share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort. And please subscribe my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecule and press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. Study hard, dedicatedly, you will definitely be successful, I believe. So, see you in my next video.